See guy tow line. You better come in. Come on. Hello kayakers. Here is the Wetman Equipment Sea Guide Waste Tow Line. I've got it here. I'll show you all about it now. Okay, so waste tow line on the buckle. You've got a 50mm cam buckle, quick release with a toggle. You've got a release uh, adjustment there. And then you can see on the left hand side that is the connector to the main line, the main tow line. Okay, which is parked outside on that large obvious loop and then it sneaks inside the main bag okay notice you've got a single zip going around the top of the bag okay plastic zip with a cord and a toggle connected directly onto the slider so you can grab hold of it and pull it nice and easily okay moving around the bag which you can notice is a very large generous size yes it is deliberately okay Moving around and you see, my goodness me, what's this on the other side? But another connector and another tow line. So this has got two tow lines. Crikey, twice as much. Okay, twice as good. All right, so there you go. You've got another one, a different color, color coded. Right hand side, a short second tow line. Okay, however, this tow line connected here goes a different way and goes underneath and goes through a hole in the base of the bag okay so it's separated from the main toe genius why is this so big it's because guys who use it every day do a tow deploy they need to get the line back into the bag whilst they're in their boat struggling against the wind and the swell and the imbalance and the everybody else in the way so it's difficult if you know if it's a nice big bag open big mouth then it's much easier to repack so that you can deploy it a second time um, throughout the journey righto so this bag itself is very lightweight it's waterproof it doesn't take any water what's inside it a tow line of course plastic zip plastic slider okay marine grade of course unzip it and we reveal webbing webbing what do you mean webbing? Yes, floating webbing. Okay, why have we done that? Well, observe here on this side, I'll drop that on the table a second. The webbing itself is connected to the connector on the end and it's very flat, low profile, okay, and it will not catch on any deck lines. Okay, that's why we use webbing. Equally, it means I can do a nice clean connection onto that connector held in place by amalgamating tape so it cannot move, won't cause any mischief or skullduggery, okay, migrate around and do something which you don't want it to do. All right, this connector, as you can see, is snag free, okay, there's no hook on there, so it's not going to catch and irritate you and misbehave. Awesome. Here's my float. Okay, so yeah, so what to float? Yeah, but this one moves up and down. So if you notice, I can move it up and down. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone down there. Slidden. It's slidden. Or is it slidded? Or is it sliding? It's sliding down the line. Okay, so that means, depending on what you're doing, you can either leave it there and clip it directly to your boat, casualty boat, or you can get it out of the way and slide it under deck lines and leave the float away from all the mischief in the rigging. Amazing! Absolutely. Right, what should I show you next? Oh, let's have a look inside the bag, shall we? Right, oh, hey, there it goes, it's all coming out now. Bye bye. 14 meters of floating webbing line is then connected to a stainless ring there to a short elastic cord. Twang, 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 there it is. Okay, which then goes back to the central pivot point inside the bag. 
There it is. You see that there? Okay. So that is then connected to the middle of the bag by another ring. Okay. It is connected to black webbing, which is the same piece of webbing which travels through the bag and out to the belt itself. It's the same 50mm belt, which has been folded two times to then connect to that ring. Okay, so it's all single piece of webbing, uh, maximum strength. Okay, so that's the central pulling point. Okay, and notice we've got floats inside, so the whole bag will float if you happen to drop it in the ocean. Notice now, I mentioned that there is a second tow line here, which uh, migrates from the connector round and through one of the brass drain holes. Okay, and then it comes through the bag and then again connects to the same central pivot point, so it has the same uh, pulling anchor point inside the bag. Okay, the second one here, the second short tow, can be deployed without unzipping the bag, and it is literally that long okay so it's super short for short contact toes and other applications repack this bag. First of all I suggest that you paddle away from your line so that it trails a nice long line without any tangles behind you. Okay and then release your buckle of the belt and uh, slacken it off so that the actual bag itself will sit on your spray deck on the front so rotate it around to the front onto your spray deck away from your PFD. Okay so you've got space to now repack it. Okay trailing the line behind you if you open the pack you'll see that it will actually stay open okay and that's now saying feed me with that line here's another one for you to practice okay imagine that you have in a gully or in amongst the rocks and for some reason you capsize and you got attacked by pirates and a big whale and you've swum out of your boat. Oh dear, bit of swell, all your mates are looking in and says, oh, what should we do next? However, you're still fit and able and there's no reason why you can't swim out and tow your boat behind you if you've got one of the wetman equipment tow lines. Okay, how do you do that? Quite simply, locate the tow connector, main line, Okay, it should be quite easy because it's nice and big and chunky and obvious loop. Okay, unclip it <coughs> and you'll notice when I pull it out there's quite a lot of resistance and tug and drag. Okay, so pull out about a metre or so and then connect that to your own kayak you will then be able to swim in front of your own kayak in the knowledge that the boat will follow. There is enough resistance, certainly with the zip closed and the float inside, to actually tug and pull your own kayak which is floating behind you and you can swim out into the main deeper water to your mates and then you can sort yourself out and get back into your boat. Okay? It only works if you keep the zip closed so that there's a nice resistance and tug on your line. Okay, and it's definitely worth practicing this application so that you are kind of familiar with how the technique works. But it can definitely get you out of a pickle without risking any other group members to come and rescue you. can also work quite well as a sea anchor 
should you be in a scenario where you have to get a casualty back through big surf onto the beach then an anchor helps to slow down the rate of descent through the surf so to do that with this bag first of all get to the tow line um, connector and clip it onto your own boat um, ideally through a quick release mechanism such as a wetman equipment contact tow line okay so that's clipped to your boat that leaves an empty bag and again, if you also unclip the second tow line, then that will drop in the water and balance the bag, okay, which will then be pulled along like so and resemble a basking shark. There you go. Sea Guide tow line. Well, you better come in.